our next topic is write api test cases with chat gpt right so we have seen on a web application example now i will give you an example of api test case i try to cover everything folks right so that it would be easy for you because i know because we have api test case manual web i am trying to give you example from each of us so now for api test case i am going to pick this website request.in okay our requirement is uh, i need to test this endpoint this get method okay so usually what happens <clears throat> this get method will give me a uh, response as 200 and my expected response body is this one and what is my request url request url is this one so i have to write test cases for a get method right and the url is this one simple right so now if i don't have generative ai what i will do i will go and start writing different scenarios around it right because if i can notice over here it has a query param right so i will generate query param scenarios i will try to generate some of the 4x series correct those are the ideal things right that you are going to do 4x series is very important okay i have written a very nice post on my linkedin uh, you folks can go and check also i have written uh, the real time examples on 4x series okay if i will take you over there uh, okay i have not logged in over okay okay i will show you okay on four x series so now if i want to create i will do it manually right if i don't have generative ai but how you can use generative ai to create all the api test case related to get method with this endpoint right that's what we are going to check in this session so what i have done over here you are talked with you are tasked with writing test case to verify the functionality and behavior of the get method on the following url this endpoint retrieves user data from page 2 of the api design comes test cases to ensure the correctness and reliability of the get request and response consider different scenarios including valid and invalid inputs edge cases and potential error condition please provide test case details including the request method url parameters expected outcomes and any additional relevant information for each test case so now this is the prompt don't give the prompt like write api test case uh, for get method this url no that that is not going to give you satisfactory answer and somehow it is not going to help you to add any value also because see our end goal is add, adding values right to increase the quality adding values so if we are generating uh, using generative ai just for the sake that we know generative ai and we are using that doesn't make much sense Right, at least not making sense for me and i know it is not making sense for you folks too that's why we should give proper prompt i am giving you those prompt examples also okay so this long your prompt should be now just see how it will reply see successful get request invalid page number negative right non-existent page number which is not present correct expected outcome is not not found error right just wait how it will write rate limiting so how many scenarios it has given three five successful get request 200 true right test case sender get request verify the response code is 200 verify the response body contains user data from page two verify the response ensure the response just see expected outcome this one right so now if you have seen this is the first one second one invalid page number page number is negative or something like that then bad request so it has covered 4x series third not found because page 100 is page number 100 is not present right though page number 100 may be present in our endpoint but see how it is giving you the idea to create scenarios right authentication if you have any authentication then it will it has given one on the 401 also right and 429 rate limiting right if there is any rate limit, but see it has for example, now you are not satisfied with it because it has covered 400, 401, 404, 429 and one success. This is good. You want more, right? You may want little bit more on that. So how you can fade it? Add one test case on 404. It is already added. 404, 405 status code means method not allowed. Let you want to add one more. So what you will do apart from this, add one test case with 405 status code and use 
tabular format always i i am pretty i am means i work in a way I, i want everything in a structured way okay that's why <laughs> i want everything in a tabular format it would be easy so now see test case id 6 verify unsupported get method behavior request method get uh, url this one status of pose and method not allowed right just if you want to see but it has tried with get method right let me rephrase uh, let me ask him that not for uh, get method but maybe for put right 405 should be for put what i am trying to check over here i am trying to check that apart from the default uh, 4x series it has covered i want it to add 405 uh, uh, status code 405 status code means method not allowed but what it has done it has given wrong response can you see folks it has given get how come get would be 405 not allowed uh, not allow, uh, method not allowed because this one we are testing right so always check this never trust on it blindly okay 405 should be for put not for get and do combine all the scenarios into one table right now just see can you see the beauty folks what else we need right how is how is it's looking now can you see okay it has done one mistake here it has taken post but i have asked it to use put so always pay attention don't just copy paste okay that's what i am trying to say don't just copy paste always try to pay attention don't copy paste okay so see one more important thing folks maybe the same prompt will give different response to you that's why try to understand the logic okay why what i am writing just copy pasting is not going to help because maybe i have tested it for the same prompt it is giving different different responses and that is the worst part so maybe you will type this uh, prompt it will give you a little bit of different response that's why i am showing you the response also so that you can map if it is not coming you can edit your prompt little bit but this is how it should write right because it would be easy for you to understand right so so that, that's uh, now we, i will give you one more example on the post method okay because post method has a request body right i will give you so now what our requirement our requirement is we need to create api test cases for this post method which will take this request body and give this response status code is 200 so now how how i will write it you are a api testing engineer you have been assigned to write test cases for below right method post correct request body this one correct expected status code 201 right response i am not giving right we are not i am not or else let me give the response okay folks so that you will see also this is the expected response right expected response body this one right add both positive both positive and negative test cases in tabular format enter just see what it will do can you see folks it has covered every status code it empty request body missing name failed missing job failed 201 for success additional field in the, oh my goodness this 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 one most people till now uh, i have seen miss miss this one to write additional field invalid data invalid data type maximum length of name can you see this is the beauty of chat gpt right not chat gpt all kind of generative ai it will make our life easy right 
पोस्ट मेथड टेस्ट केसेस दिस इज द प्रॉम आई एम ऑलवेज गिविंग यू प्रॉम सो दैट यू विल हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट राइट फोक्स इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट करेक्ट आई विल डू वन थिंग आई विल एक्सपोर्ट इफ पॉसिबल आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सपोर्ट दोज थिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड इट टू यू फोक्स ओके दिस इज द वन वी हैव जनरेटेड फॉर ए पी आई दिस इज द वन वी हैव जनरेटेड फॉर गेट राइट एंड वन वी हैव जनरेटेड फॉर मैनुअल इज दिस वन राइट यूजेबिलिटी दिस इज यूजेबिलिटी एंड एक्सेसिबिलिटी करेक्ट and this is for our this one right so how, how nicely it is written the api test case right so what is your task you go and check for put patch different type of methods i have shown you one get one post all right rest of the things you folks can explore correct now that's the end of our api manual api test case generation right we have many more to explore right we will jump into automation where we will see real action correct 